Hi everyone, welcome back to Genius Dart. So I'm gonna be doing something really cool today. Basically, I'm visiting a dart shop and be trying out different darts. The dart shop in question is Smart Darts uh, in South Wales, in a town called Quimbran. Uh, it's the first time I've been here, so really excited to get in and have a look. Um, so yeah, let's go and, uh, let's go and check it out. Try these bad boys out. 22 grams. Nice. You got anything complete opposite end, like completely smooth. This is like dart in heaven. I can just try darts. I'm loving it. All right, ultra smooth. Let's try them out. Wow, that's really. I hope I hit the board. Thirty-six gram, proper Ryan Searles. Oh, I feel heavy. Christ, Jesus! <laughs> I need to go to the gym. <laughs> Twelve gram, Stephen Bunting. Oh, Christ, yeah, you've got it again. <laughs> That's like throwing throwing air. He's at 180s with these things. Look at the size of them. Tiny. Let's try them. They try something. This is why these kind of shops are so good because yeah. the amount of people buy darts online, get them, throw them on, hate them, need yeah. to sell them for 20 quid less or whatever. Yeah. Whereas if you just come to a place like this, try them out, see what they like, they've not got to worry about that's, that. That's why you... So these flights you can't, well, 99% of the time, you can't Robin Hood the darts. That is a problem for me, because my, my flights are knackered. I have to change yeah. them so often. Well, if you have a look there, you can see where they cover the prongs. Be really careful um, putting them on certain darts as well because if you do force them and you, you damage the inside of that, you won't be able to use them. Sure. But do they, do they stay on? Because yeah, I also have an issue. Tight. So I punch them mine yeah. so that they stay on. Yeah, well, they stay on. They're, they're pretty good. Uh, what I've noticed with them is people who buy them always come back for another set. Which thing does Mission. One? So we'll have some of these, Robson's. We'll have some Condor Racks to try out. Some standard flights. I'll have some, no, kites. Kite. I'll have some kites, try them out. And I'll take these darts. Yeah. What were they again? The uh, Patriot. Patriot. Really Design nice. a Patriot. Really nice grippy dart. So we'll give those a whirl at the weekend. Right, so there we have it. I'm 60 quid lighter, which actually isn't bad, and less than I thought. Um, get hold of a really grippy um, set of darts, which I really, really like. So I've had them, 28 pounds. It's a bit of a bargain, if I'm honest. And as I was leaving, some guy came in to trade his in, um, and I just picked them up, tried them. They're brilliant. So I've had them for a tenner. Um, 
So yeah, really, really good. One thing I will say is Chris is a legend, really, really nice guy. I was in that shop probably for two hours, just trying different bits, having a chat. He was telling me stories about him used to play County. Um, really, really nice experience I've had, um, had a lot of fun. Um, no pressure to buy, no kind of forcing me onto the expensive ones or anything like that. So if you are in Wales, South Wales or the Southwest of England, you want to try darts, but you don't want to maybe order them online just in case they're not the right ones for you. Come down to Smart Darts in Quimbran. Um, have a chat with Chris, he'll take you through what he's got. You'll be able to try it on the board um, so you can come away with something that you do actually like. Uh, that was my experience today. I had a really, really good time. So definitely recommend Smart Darts. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.